In this video, we'll analyze what should happen in an economy where there's a recessionary gap and policymakers want to use fiscal policy, specifically an increase in government spending, in order to close the recessionary gap, right? So uh, over here, uh, this shows what's going on in the economy, right? We have the aggregate supply, aggregate demand model, and we see that the economy has current outcome, right? Y, y sub C is 400, while potential output, Y sub P, is 500, right? And that's where the long run aggregate supply curve is, right? So we are currently here at 400, and we want to get up to 500, right? And again, the idea with fiscal policy is that uh, you have some kind of uh, increase in government spending or decrease in taxes that increases aggregate demand enough to get the economy back up to potential output, right? Now, <clears throat> uh, when, there's an, when there's a spending multiplier, this uh, makes it so that well, if, if the multiplier is greater than one, then that means that the government doesn't have to increase spending by the size of the gap, but rather some fraction of it, right? And if you remember back, the def by definition, uh, the spending multiplier is such that when there's, an, when there's a change in government spending, right, so we have delta G is some amount, so that change in government spending, then multiply that amount by the spending multiplier, and that tells you the change in total spending, right? And the change in total spending is equal to the change in GDP because GDP is equal to total spending, right? Okay, so we have this by definition. Now, the key here is that we want to make it so that the change in GDP is equal to the size of this gap, right? Because we want GDP to increase by that much, right? We want to go from 400 to 500, right? So we need the change in GDP to be potential output minus current output, right? Or actual output. So YP, we have YP minus YC, that's the change in GDP that we desire. And so uh, given that, let, let's suppose the spending multiplier is two, well then we can figure out the increase in government spending necessary for, uh, given that the spending multiplier is two, for us to be able to fill in this output gap, this recessionary gap. And, and have GDP increase by the amount necessary to get from current output to potential output, right? Okay, so filling in these numbers here, we, we have uh, potential output is 500, current output is 400, so 500 minus 400 is equal to the spending multiplier times the change in government spending. So we just divide by two, we wanna solve for this and find out, well, how much government spending does there need to be? What does the change in government spending need to be in order to get uh, the economy back to potential output? Right, so we're solving for change in G, so we divide by two, so we have 100, 500 minus 400 is 100, divide by two, and we find that the change in government spending necessary to get the economy back to potential output is 50, right? So again, the idea here is that uh, we want to raise aggregate demand enough to get to potential output, and since there is a spending multiplier, that means that, and the, and the spending multiplier is greater than one since it's two in this case, that means that the government only needs to spend half the amount of the uh, recessionary gap, and then the multiplier process will take care of the rest, right? The multiplier process will take care of the rest. Right? The government spending will increase it to 450, and then the, uh, the, 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 the spending multiplier process will fill in the rest and get us all the way back up to potential output, right? Okay, thank you very much for watching.